More on the allegations that CNN blackmailed the user who created the anti-CNN Trump wrestling video. So the Reddit user behind the Trump CNN body slam video is apologizing. I've watched with sadness how the Cox News Network has tried to trample over our freedom of expression. And they decided that they could get their pound of flesh from this individual. July 2nd, 2017. Trump is browsing Twitter for some memes. He sees this one and hits retweet. Over half a million likes and many, many more hurt feelings by CNN. As grown adults, how can they let it rest? They don't. They get their top investigator, your boy, Andrew Kaczynski, on the case to find the creator of the GIF. July 4. CNN had found their man, user Han Asshole Solo. CNN was able to scour through his Reddit history to find his personal Facebook. What followed was an ultimatum. Delete everything or be doxxed. In exchange for his anonymity, Han Asshole Solo purged his Reddit history and issued an apology to CNN. From here on out, he was a hostage. In light of this, CNN issued a statement. CNN is not publishing Han Asshole Solo's name because he is a private citizen who has issued an extensive apology. CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. Now, CNN had squashed the one who had stung them, but in doing so, they had stirred up the hive. 4chan was not about to let Han Asshole Solo be silenced in vain. Their plan? To create so many CNN memes that tracking down any single target would be pointless. July 5th. Their operation was a multi-stage assault. First, there was an alliance, an agreement between former frenemies. The second was a constant barrage of meme artillery. The third stage was to target the money that funds CNN by contacting their advertisers directly. The early strikes launched at CNN were through Twitter, the first making the hashtag CNN blackmail trending for many to see. And the second, getting prominent figures to tell everyone that CNN's hostage was a 15-year-old boy. Even Donald Trump's own son tweeted out that the person threatened by CNN was only 15. The only way CNN can then counter this accusation was by releasing the information they had on him which would then result in possible legal ramifications and them being attacked further from all sides. Meanwhile, every forum, every feed, every platform was being flooded with CNN memes. As the situation escalated, Kekistani forces went about attacking the only thing that CNN really cares about. Its ratings. The strategy was simple. First, download the CNN app. Then rate it one star, then delete. Wanting to keep up the pressure, Alex Jones and Paul Joseph Watson created the first meme contest, $20,000, to whoever made the meme they liked the most about CNN. In the past, internet polls and contests were destroyed by 4chan shitposting. But now, an actual contest was born specifically for that purpose. July 6th. Reports started coming in by reputable media sources that were covering and condemning the meme war. This attention only emboldened the forces of 4chan and Reddit, but while some were celebrating, others were scheming. Already there were rumors suggesting that CNN had got the wrong guy. Could it be possible that this whole thing was started from a mistake? No, this was just more clever disinformation. In this manufactured fog of confusion, one final long-term plan was hatched. Thousands of undercover anons would begin using universal remotes to change public televisions off of CNN to further hurt their ratings. July 12th. A full week passed and new developments were scarce. CNN has seemingly been busy on damage control, having app stores suppress bad reviews. Publications that stand in solidarity with CNN have been churning out articles condemning troll behavior and echoing the claim that people who make GIFs don't deserve anonymity. The most salient example of these publications is MTV, as they are now in production of a spin-off to their Catfish TV series. Except it will focus 100% on doxing people who like to have fun on the internet. Soon, on primetime television, you will see someone have their post history, real name, location, and face doxed on camera. So how this story ends could be up to you.
as any one of us might be next. What will be the aftermath of this meme war? What's next for Han Asshole Solo and the Kekistani army? All of this and more on the next issue of Meme Insider. Thank you.